That should make it a lot easier. Let's try it out now. Oh man, this is just not going in. Well, this is a good fit. Keep that air out. Oh man. Compress that a little bit more. What's up guys, it's Matt and the boys from Ableton's Auto House. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to bleed your brakes and do your master cylinder. This car that we're doing it on is a 1989 BMW 325 IS. The is complaining about a soft uh, brake pedal. Alright, so we're going to break all the lug nuts loose before we put it up in the air. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. So there you go. Nice. You want to break the lug nut loose? So here is the brake booster with the master cylinder out. There's our two lines right there. Now when doing this repair, make sure you don't bend the lines because if you do, it's going to be really hard to get them back uniform again. Another fact would be if you're doing this repair, make sure there's no fluid in the actual booster itself because if the booster has fluid in it it's going to ruin the diaphragm and you're not going to have power brakes so okay so here we have the master cylinder the brand new one <coughs> it comes with these plugs here for packaging purposes but we're going to take these stops here and this is a method to bench bleed the air out of the master cylinder before installing. This is a very crucial step for before installing a master cylinder. So what you want to do is block off these cylinders with these stops they supply you in the box. Okay. So when we put those in there, the next step would be installing the reservoir on top, filling the reservoir up, and then pumping this unit until all the air rises out of the reservoir. Okay, so now we're going to install the reservoir here. Take these out. And basically you want to clean the reservoir as best as possible before installing it. This one I tried to get as clean as possible. It's pretty, it's pretty ra raggedy. So I mean we're going to deal with what we got. A little dirt in there still, but that's as best as we're going to get it, so we're just going to install the reservoir here like this, push down. All 
Okay, so this reservoir isn't going in very easily, so we're going to take a little bit of uh, dielectric grease here. And dielectric grease is mainly used for electrical components, but it also is a good lubricant for this kind of thing. So we're just going to put two little dabs on there, nothing crazy, and then just kind of wipe it around with our hands. A lot easier. Let's try it out now. Oh man, this is just not going in. Wow. Well, this is a good fit. Keep that air out. Oh man. Okay. All right. That is almost in. These are really hard to get in, just so you know you're gonna fight it for a bit. But that's basically in there. You can look around and make sure. We're gonna install the master cylinder on the booster because we don't have a actual um, bench bleeding device, which would be a clamp. Um, so we're going to use the vehicle to actually do the uh, bench bleeding process. So what we're going to do is hook up the master cylinder. Then once the master cylinder is hooked up, we're going to put fluid in the reservoir, keep the block off plates in the holes, and we're going to use the actual brake pedal to uh, get all the air out of the cylinder. So we'll take off the safety piece that came with this. See our block offs are still in there. Just hand tight. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. Make sure you put the actual pin from the booster into the master cylinder that pushes on it. Go ahead and put that on, just like so. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything up and then we'll show you how we're gonna do the rest. Press in and release the pedal slowly to get all the air out of the master cylinder. So go ahead, Abel. Go ahead and press it in real slow. Show you what it's gonna look like. You pressing, Abel? Yeah. See how we're getting air bubbles? You don't want to do that until there's no more air bubbles coming out and the pedal is hard. Alright, so here we are. We're going to bleed the brake system. I have a Motive Products power bleeder. You guys can uh, do a, a brake bleed process with another person by uh, filling up the container and keeping it, the reservoir completely filled at all times and having another person press the pedal in and out real slow. So. But basically we're going to use this motive bleeder. This uh, makes the process quicker and easier and it's one man capable so you can just use it. So now we're going to go ahead and bleed the brakes. Abel's going to show you how to break the bleeder free. Go ahead, Abel. So why that is doing its thing, we're going to show you how to clean the bleeders. We took the bleeders all the way out and we're going to clean them. So here it is. That means the bleeder's nice and clear. them how you do the, the, what do you call it, the rear here, the other side, there you go. Yeah. The gum? You might have tightened it. Yeah, you might have tightened it. No, that's good. Oh, I thought. That one had a lot of air in it. That one had a lot of air in it? Yep. Wow. Daddy got... Uh, Maddox is going to undo this, the bleeder. Go ahead, Maddox. Pull it down. 
Pull it down and let it go. And then let it go. Take it off. Five to Ableton Solar House. Make sure you wait into nutrition, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Ableton. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and turn on the notification button. I hope you enjoy. Bye.